Hey, pros and gems, welcome back to our channel. It's your favorite jewel, Madam Teray, coming at you with another video. Now, in this video, I wanted to go over some of my nudes and reds for the fall season, going into winter as well. So, if you guys think you're interested in this video, then of course, keep watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so excited to have you. If you click the bell, you'll be notified of future videos. And if you thumbs up this video, it really helps me out. So, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in this video. Excuse the clutter that is up on my desk, guys. It is from the last video where I went through and talked about some of the products that they have going on at the Ultra Beauty Gorgeous Hair Event for October 6th through the 26th. You can stop in and purchase so many awesome products. I actually went through day by day and told you guys what they had available from the 6th to the 26th. And then I went through and talked about random things that I did have already in my collection. Gave you guys a brief opinion on what they kind of sort of are, how I feel about them, and if you should purchase them with your coins. So, if you want to check that video out, I'll be sure to leave it in the discussion box below. And Well, yeah, I'll leave it in the discussion box. And i also put it in the description box so you can click through and go ahead and check it out. So, with that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with my news since it is the biggest bag. And then we're going to move right along to my reds, which this isn't all of my reds, but these have been kind of like my go-to reds. So... We'll get to those in just a second. Don't you just love that Halloween type bag? And I got this one in an Ipsy bag. And this one, I believe I... Where did I get this bag from? I have to go back in some previous videos and see where I got this bag from. I think I actually got it with a purchase with something. Yeah, because it's not a glam bag. So, um, But I really, really love this bag. It's a really good quality. And I just love it, love it, love it for all of my noobs. So... Well, I think, yeah, we'll go ahead and start with the big bag first. So we'll start with the new bag first. All right, guys, so when you open it up, it is pink in the inside, everything pink. <laughs> so we have the first lipstick, and we're not going, well, we're not going in any particular order. I just wanted to tell you guys, products that I think you could, you could check out and that would be suitable for all skin tones. And pink is kind of like a universal color for me. I think pink looks good on all skin tones. More so, darker skin should wear a liner with it. Depends on how you rock it now, because I've seen some uh, jewels get away with wearing pinks, and they don't put a liner on. So, it just depends on how you rock your makeup. So, the first one is this Even New York Lip Lacquer. And this is a lip shine gloss, long lasting wear. You guys saw me mention this several times on my Instagram. It is called Isis, I believe. No, nope. yeah, yeah, this one is called Isis. So you can pick this brand up in your local beauty store and the packaging is sturdy and it actually lasts a long time. It is a dark shade color pink and it does have the standard doe foot on it. Doesn't have a smell to it, but I really like this color. It's so cute. I won't be doing any swatches because I don't feel like getting dirty today. But this is just one of those pinks that kind of like you can wear it with any eye look, any neutral eye look, I would say. Because some eye looks, yeah, I wouldn't put it on with certain eye looks. A black eye, a silver eye, and a nude eye, a neutral eye, an earth tone eye. Yeah, you can get away with, with that pink. Then we have the... Donna Lauren lip lacquer and this one is more like a, of a peachy um, undertone color this is a matte liquid lipstick and this lipstick I actually think I got it in a kit so I bought it as a set it was relatively expensive maybe like $1.99 or something like that and it came with several different types of colors and I just pulled out my neutrals and my different shades and just placed them you know in their perspective sacks then we have this true match by Nika K. I really love the Nika K brand because it's affordable. This one is in Turkish Rolls. I talked a lot about the Nika K brands. I think I actually did a video series on all the liquid mattes like this. And this is just the nudie one. It's really, 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 really pretty. And yeah, it does have the standard doe foot on it. I don't think I showed you guys the doe foot for the Donna Karen standard doe foot. So most, most of the lipsticks, they have like the standard uh, doe foot with like a pointed tip on it. Most of the lip lacquers that I'm going to mention have the standard doe foot on it. So you could just pretty much, I guess, use them all the same with the exception of the ones that's made like a flat head. And you'll see one when I get to it. 
So the next one we have is the Perfect Tone. This is the Perfect Tone New shade and this one is by black radiance as you can tell by the logo at the top and i don't think this one actually has a name no it doesn't it just has a number at the bottom which is 5403 i don't know if you guys saw that but it's 5403 and it, yeah and so this is what i was talking about the ones with a flat head see how this has a flat head to it i'm gonna show you guys the different a difference whereas most standard glosses have like the doe foot, like a pointed tip. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has like a pointed tip where it goes in a swoosh angle. And this one is just flat all the way around. So I really like these. And they just have like a C curve angle. And then these have just like a pointed tip. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but you guys kind of know what I'm talking about. So far, we went through these four right here. Pinks and nude shake tones. The next one we have is the Kapow by, this one is by ColourPop. And it doesn't have a scent either. And it has a standard doe foot. Everybody talks about this one as well. I heard a lot about it. I, I heard it talked about so much that I was like convinced that I needed it in my collection. And then when I got it, I reached for it a lot in the beginning, maybe like the first two or three days that I had it. And then after that, I was like over the hype with that one. And it's kind of like a a, a, ra a a random type of pick for me. Like if I'm not wearing a certain, like if I'm not wearing any makeup, I would throw it on with just like a liner, some mascara and maybe do my brows and that may be it like i would wear it like that without any makeup if i do put on a full beat that's not like a color that i would really really ultimately reach for then we go into strut which is like this beige type color and this is another color pop with the standard doe foot and i think this one no, I thought this one was the one that smelled like chocolate, but it's not. So, Kapow and uh, Strut, I think I actually purchased at the same time. Because I was looking for, like, this rosy tone type of color. Like, a, just a, a step down from this one. And this is the Ruby Kisses My Pink. And this really doesn't pull pink. It pulls, like, more of a mauve pink, pink, highlighted peach type of tone. It's really pretty, though. Doesn't have a well, it does it, it smells like a sweet smell? And yeah, this is NY pink. I said my pink. This is NY pink, and again, this one is by Nika K and not the K. I'm sorry, this one is by Ruby Kisses, and it is from their Ru Forever Matte collection. So, definitely love Ruby Kisses. The next one that I have is a long lasting lip gloss and it is so pretty i think this was actually sent to me to try out i never even mentioned it but yeah this is a nude shade lipstick doesn't have a fragrance to it has a flat standard doe foot like a flat head really like that color the next peachy pink tone color is this lacquer this is a glossy lip lip gloss and I think I got this one in a boxy charm. So yeah, I think I got this one actually in a boxy charm. And it's really <laughs> excellent for traveling because it's like a little mini <laughs> miniature one. So it's real cute. The pink does pull like a pretty pink color. So I really like it. The next one that I have is this High Shine. What is this? The Melted Matte by Too Faced. And this one is in Safe Word. You guys saw me rave about Safe Word. I use this the diff. I'm surprised I haven't even used it. Oh, this is a really pretty bubblegum pink. And y'all know Too Faced is known for having the most uh, refreshing smelling type of products. And I really, really 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 love this product it is so cute and it smells awesome so yeah i like the way this looks on the lip and it's so pretty so yeah this is safe word by Too faced cosmetics 
The next one is, oh, a goodie. I love these Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Lipsticks. This one is a matte liquid lipstick, and it is called Nudie Patootie by Wet n Wild. I love Wet n Wild Catsuit and Wet n Wild Lip gloss and lipstick collections that are made like these these are available everywhere i mean you can find them at the dollar tree you can find them at the mall you can well the mall you can find find them at uh alta you can find them online at their wet wild website the dollar tree the dollar store cvs uh is it cvs i believe yes yeah, cvs yeah because i don't think uh walgreens carries wet and wild i'm not for sure i have to double check but yeah, at least I've never purchased anything from Wet n Wild out of uh, Walgreens. So yeah, this is the Mega Last, and it's like a the perfect beige. This one falls in the same class with, well, no, they're a little bit off from each other. So I think this is like the lightest color that I have in my shade, in my the lightest shade I have in my collection. But it is so pretty. I really, really love this new. This new also reminds me of the, um... What is the one that everybody talks about um, from MAC? It's the shade that everybody raised about from MAC. It's like a nude type of shade. This reminds me of that. Then I have the Tarte. And this one is in Pillow Talk by Tarte. And it does come with a short stubby curve doe foot. Tarte uh, products usually don't come with the fragrance or scent. We have another Too Faced uh, Lippy. And this one is a Melted Matte. And this one is in Sellout. So, I don't really like Sellout as much as I thought I was going to like it. It's, uh, it pulls almost the same color. It, no, not the Tarte. Which one was it? Yeah, this one, the Nika K. It pulls almost the same color as the Nika K. It's just a lot louder. But definitely love the packaging on the Too Faced products. This one is in like the smaller size and then you have the larger size. But I think I actually picked, I think I, think I got one in a glam bag and one came to me. No, I think I purchased this one at TJ Maxx and this one came in a glam bag. I think it came in a glam bag. If it didn't come in a glam bag, I bought it. <laughs> then I have a um, Japanese lipstick that I actually really love. And I think this one is Turkish Rose. San Raman 01. Yeah. So, the packaging is cute. It's called the band Jap... What is Japonique. And then it just looks like that. And I think we did get these in like boxy charms. So it's a pretty nude shade that you have to go in with the liner. And I'll show you guys the liners that I use with these glosses. Now these glosses, a lot of my lip glosses I wear alone. Like this one, I already have on like a, a MAC lip glass, which I think I got it around here somewhere. I got a MAC lip glass on. But a lot of times I like to take shades like these that are um, like peachy tone glosses. And just add it to whatever. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Whatever shade I'm wearing. It has a little speck of glitters in it. But these Ramil uh, lip glosses are so cute, guys. And they still have them available. I think I purchased this one from Target. Yeah. I did. I got this one from Target. One day I was in there looking for something. I think that was when I was purchasing. This one is in Blushing. Bell Graves in number 130. So again, by Ramil. Super cute. Um, looks like it has a tone to it, but when it goes on, it actually applies clear with a slight tint. Then this is like the newest one I just added to my collection. I actually got it from TJ Maxx's Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in Pure Hollywood. And this is a beige tone, pretty beige tone color for a really. Now this one, yeah, could go out. Yes, I know. I was like, I know it's one of them that was really close to. And that was the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip lacquer. And I always love the packaging on the Anastasia Beverly Hills packaging. Just comes with the standard flat 
doe foot. Really love these. And then we have the, we have two more. I'm gonna mention these two together. Two more of the cat suits. Well, yeah, two more of the liquid cat suit. Hi Shy, I just recently picked this cat suit up. And this one is in Caught Your Bear Naked. And this one is in Rebel Rose by Wet n Wild. So definitely love these two by Wet n Wild. And of course, they both come with the standard doe foot on them. So depending on if you want a peachy nude shade, like if you're wearing lavender, beige, or light soft pinks, you might want to go on with something a little bit dark or so, something a little bit light. Definitely would reach for these two nudes because they are just, and they're long lasting and they matte. That's why I like them because they dry down and then you can go over them with a clear gloss or gloss in this shade. And that's why I mention a lot of these because some of these are liquid matte lipsticks, liquid satin lipsticks, and liquid glosses that go on actually with a sheer color. Something like the Ramil will go on like a clear color. You will go over it with something that's matte just to give it a little bit shine, but you know it'll actually stay in place. So, whereas I would buy something that's affordable. What about ugly movie liking? Okay, go ahead, give me my earrings. Give me my earrings. Thank you so much. You're so cute. Thank you, bye-bye. Whereas I would buy something relatively expensive and matte like the Anastasia Beverly Hills because it dries down matte and then you can go with something really shimmery that is actually a good, really good quality like this and give it a little bit of shine if you want that. If you feel like your lips are getting a bit dry throughout the day because a lot of times with the matte lipstick, sometimes your lips do get a little bit dry. Then we have the Celebrate You NYX. I did get this as a birthday gift with Ulta Beauty. So that's that. And the color that I got was in Lip L120. And this one is called French Made. I have not opened it yet, but everybody told me that it's going to remind me of the Kapow. No, no, yeah, Kapow. And it's going to be a link between the Kapow and the Strut. That's what everybody told me. It was like, oh, if you like Kapow or Strut, that is what that is gonna um pull more towards so definitely interested in checking that out and seeing how this is gonna fare so this was what i got i haven't even opened it yet but this was what i got as a birthday gift last no oh i forgot one cat suit the last cat suit that i have is chick got real <laughs> so i think i probably have like all of the noobs in the um cat suit collection I think yeah no, I just got four I think I got one more lingering around here so they're all four right here and and really honestly truly with all four of these you basically will have all the news you really need in your collection and you know what I mean because most of the news that I have down here they either pull a little bit lighter than these or a little bit darker or a little bit more um so with these four right here and a liner you basically you got your nudes so you definitely can't go wrong with the the nyx the wet and wild and then you can throw some high-end um neutral colors in your collection then i have the milani this one is by far one of my favorite this was number 11 precious it is so pretty i had to pick it up it is so pretty and it looks so pretty on the lips. Doesn't have a smell. Milani products really never have a smell. Yeah, so this one is the number 11 Precious. And remember what I was saying, that it either pulls a little bit lighter, a little bit darker from the wet and wild. When you sit it next to it, it's just a shade lighter than, what is this? Chick Got Real. It's just a shade lighter than that, or a little bit deeper than that. So, and the crazy thing about my nudes is that although they're all nudes and they may come off somewhat the same on the lip, they really actually, when you wear it with something, you put it on and you look in the mirror, you're like, mm -mm, I need something lighter. Then you go to another shade and you're like, mm -mm, a tad bit darker. And then you find a just right shade. So that's why when you see people's collection, you be like, all of them look the same. Usually when you put on an outfit and you go look in the mirror, you be like, 
huh for a minute they all did appear like they were the same and then when you go and you look you like okay when you see it in real like daylight you actually get to see the real actual color of the shade and you're like mm, and now i see why people have so many various shades because a certain shade won't pull the correct way with a certain outfit like even if you're wearing like a denim outfit if you wear like a a denim jacket and a white shirt and then you could probably get away with any color nude but if you're wearing like a specific color in your top and then you go to put it on you be like mm, something lighter mm, something darker you know something on that line so then we got the Ofra ipsy unzip of course Oprah told you Ofra told you where you gonna you know so you won't remember and it says use code ipsy 30 for 30 percent off if you wanted to get this during that time, which I think I had this about a year, over, I don't had, well, I had Ipsy for almost three years, and that was a while ago, because it's been at least a year since I've been with Ipsy, and yeah, so really like this color, really, really pretty, new shade, so purchased it, but didn't purchase it independently, got an Ofra, the next one is a, a True Matte, and this is, I want to say, what color hop bush so this is in the nick k hop bush i talked about these again when i talked about all my nick k uh, matte lipsticks and then the rest of these nudes are basically the black radiance and i forget what the name of this one is called but i make sure because i had it so long and it's so good and it lasts a long time but it goes on that color it has vitamin E in it, so it's very moisturizing to your lip. I'm gonna leave it to the side because I do have a second one. I believe it's in my other bag that we're gonna go through. And then I just threw in some Burt Speeds. This just goes on clear. Whenever my lips feeling dry, I just pull it off. Go over with that. Wear that for a while until my lips kind of you know get back its um, moisture balance, and then I go back over it with the gloss. The last product I have is like this. Um, shimmery shade which I have another one and I don't know where it is it's pretty penny but this one is in 401k and this 401k is called high shine sparkling lip gloss and it is by Too Faced so always love the packaging on Too Faced they always make you feel luxurious and then my most favorite lipstick uh well lip gloss that out of all the glosses down here is this MAC lip gloss and it is finished I need to put it in empties video but I'm trying to hold on to it until I find the shade that it is in. Because I keep forgetting to purchase it whenever I go to the mall. But it's done. And this is my most favorite nude shade. Because you can wear it by itself, hands down. It is really, really thick. Really, really glossy. It looks so pretty on your lip. Whether you're wearing lipstick or not. It is so pretty. It's almost like a fleshy tone color. Really, really love this. I think I was wearing this shade back in high school. And I think that's why I can't find it. Because that's been almost over 15, 20 years ago. So, yeah. Um. And they don't have the shade written at the bottom. At least they probably did. But it probably wore off. But I gotta go look for my shade. Because that's the only reason why I haven't thrown that away. So, those are all my nudes and pink shades that i wanted to show you guys if you guys were looking for something that looks kind of natural with a fleshy tone lip and things of that nature i think you guys should check out that i think they're so pretty you can like i say rock them with almost any any um eye look when you don't want to go on with an actual now this look is actually saved to my phone cover but here are a few of the nude lipsticks nude lip looks different eye styles that I'm wearing with these nude lips. I just wanted you guys to see that I actually do wear these nude lips and the eye looks that I actually wear them with. And I've worn them several times throughout this year and last year, past few years that I've been here on YouTube. So here, like I said, is just a clip of how I wear my nude lips with various different eye looks. The more fun you do with your eyes, you want to kind of tone it down with a neutral lip color. You're going to use your pops of red during the fall and holiday season. That's normally when I go in with my reds. But yeah, so here are the clips of my nude lips and things of that nature. So you guys can see actually how the nude look lip looks and how the red lips look with certain eyeshadow palettes i use both high-end eyeshadow palettes and both affordable 
drugstore eyeshadow palettes to make these eye looks and make my lips pop. I really love the pops of red again during the holiday season because it's very holiday and very seasonal themed. And I also find that the more fun you have in playing your makeup, the more you're able to create these very unique styles and bring any gorgeous look together with a nude or a red look. The mauve tones and pinks are also awesome eye looks and stuff to gravitate towards whenever you're creating the most gorgeous eye look. I just want you guys to have fun with makeup. So now we're going to go ahead and go in with my holiday reds that I have tucked away in this Ipsy a Halloween bag for you guys. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in. And I do have my liners, which I'm going to mention towards the end of the video. So the first red we have is this Juvia's Place red. And this one is, is in Africa. And you guys already know I wore this red. Oh, and this red is the bump. This is a blood, like a blood red. <laughs> It is so pretty. You can wear this red with almost anything. I really love that red. And then I have the color is Bay Red. I talked about this a lot. Got it in an Ipsy bag as a sample. Little goes a long way with that. I think it has the standard doe foot. Yep, the standard doe foot on it. And it's like a chili red. It's a slight lighter than the um, Afrique. But these are like two of my most favorite reds that I have. I have a clear gloss, so whenever I'm wearing a matte red and I don't really want it to be matte or want to spruce it up because throughout the day my lips are getting a little dry, I usually go in sometimes with um, an inexpensive lip gloss that I don't mind changing shades. And as you know, when you start mixing your nude shades, which I think I use this one with my nude shades, which is why it's starting to get like a nudie appearance. So I need to put that with my nude collection because I think that's I ended up in the wrong bag. But here's that matte lip glass that I will kind of top off any lipstick with and it does turn like any other shade once you start using the top of it to mix it with other shades it kind of mixes in over time this is a like a pinky reddish shade it's like a more of a plummy it's called plummy mood so i put it with the red bag because it pulls a lot lighter than my nudes but i think i'm going to go ahead and put it back in my nude bag and yeah this one is the forever matte and it is by ruby kisses yeah plummy mood so i'm gonna put these two back in my nude bag the next shade is called berry recognized and it's almost like a burgundy reddish color and this is a liquid cat suit i know i had another one around somewhere standard doe foot really really pretty this one is like a mauve turn well no i'm gonna <laughs> put jawbreaker in my <laughs> new bag because it's more well, it's more like a purpley color so i guess the new bag i put my nudes and my pinks i'm gonna go ahead and put like the lavender mauve type colors like this one is yeah jawbreaker my two face i'm gonna go ahead and put it in the other bag i just didn't want the other bag over flooded and i'm probably gonna end up putting this one in the other bag as well this one is called plump and it has little specks of glitter in them. These are relatively affordable. They run like a dollar or two at the dollar store. Then we have this Maybelline. What is this? Visionary. Really, really like this. This is, a, I believe, a matte shade. Lip lacquer. Pulls like a matte. Yeah. Pulls like a really dark um, mauve shade. It's really pretty, though. And then there's the other one so yeah it is still still can't tell you the name but you got it's a perfect tone by uh black radius I have two of these and i don't plan on purchasing any more of those because i have well i do once i run out but right now i don't need them then we have this one in what is this nms and this is like a purple tone lipstick that i hung it up mixed with something brown to tone it down something i mixed with it and turned it brown i'm gonna put that in the purple pink bag and then we have vivid violet by true matte it's a really pretty purple shade it's not showing up the true color but it's a really pretty purple shade then we have the la girls flash 
what is this flat pigment gloss so this is supposed to be a gloss at the hair store it ran about $2.99 but I saw them cheaper elsewhere so that's how that looks I think you can get it on Miss Shop Miss A for like a dollar and then we have this perfect tone liner it's just a pink liner this is just one of my liners that I have I still have a full thing left I think I wore like one time I really didn't like how it pulled on my lips so that's one of the liners the other four liners that I love, love, love to use with my nudes, whether it's reds, whether it's plums, whether it's mauve colors, or whether it's peach tone colors, are these four liners right here. And the first liner that I'm going to mention is like my ultimate favorite. It's my go-to. If you go to any one of my videos that I mention my products, you're probably going to always see the Dordana by, uh, in Coco. And I do get these from Walgreens. Normally when I go in... Like, if they have, like, four or five, I pick up all four or five. If they have two or three, I get all two or three. I normally don't get more than two or three um, of them because they um, are $2.99. And depending on what I'm going in there for, I may or may not grab more than five. So, really, really like these. I like to keep these on deck. As of today, I think I have maybe two of them left. This one and another one that I think I have tucked away somewhere. So, definitely check out these $2.99 affordable um lip uh liners then i have the next one is my ultimate favorite and this one is the ruby kisses perfect tone and this one is in gingerbread so it looks just like so it does have a twist up nozzle as well so it twists up just like the jordana one and it does have a plastic applicator so i like that because i don't really like the wood ones as much because they scrape across your lips and then the next one I have is the L'Oreal Color Richie in chocolate. And this is like my least favorite, but I do really like it because it is a brown shade. And this one is a wooden wet and wild pencil. It doesn't say whether or not it's with the lips or not. It just says dark brown, but I really, really like this. And I like it because it is a really, really deep brown, but I don't reach for it as much because it is a wooden pencil and I really like the wood scraping against my lip. So... I have three plastic applicator ones that I'm like my go-to lip pencils and then I have a wooden one. If you guys have a chocolate lip pencil that you recommend, I know a lot of people I heard on YouTube already talking about the MAC one. I haven't tried that one yet, but I did hear a lot about it. And once I run out of these, maybe I will probably look into that. So for the time being, I'm just enjoying these right here. Again, with like all my new shades and red i do have more red shades that i want to share with you guys i'm going to go ahead and mention them while i am while i have you guys' attention so i think these were the i think i have some other lipsticks that are around her but i'm gonna mention these and this is the bear berries by ruby kisses and this one is the video vixen which i really 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 loved i talked about this one a lot too and you guys already know standard doe foot because it is the wet and wild cat suit line and the last one i have is this tristique and it is just a pretty push-up red lipstick that you can get a lot of gloss on definitely probably want to go in with a liner with the tristique but really, really love those. The last products that I want to mention come in both red and nude shades. And these are the NARS lipsticks. So you can actually go in with any other liners, whether it's chocolate or red, and line your lips with these. You can top it off with a gloss if you're not looking for a matte look. And you can enjoy these. So the first one that I have, and I think I mentioned these before, but I'm going to mention them again, is Spellbound in this kind of like shimmery mauve tone shade and it just looks like so you can sharpen these with like a jumbo sharpener to wear them the next one i have is the i guess this is called tundra and it's almost like a shade down like a shimmery burgundy shade type of color and what i like about these is that the shade that you see on the tip is the shade that you're getting inside of the cap all of these are true to shade the next one is this, what is this called? Endangered Red. I did mention these in a previous video. So if you watched the previous video, you know I mentioned these. So again, these are the NARS Red Nude 
and neutral lipsticks that you can kind of check out for the fall season really really love these and i just keep these together because they are like a set so i'm going to leave those inside of the red bag together and yeah so those are the nudes and reds that i'm going to be wearing this fall season if you guys enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up i'll probably try and insert some swatches of some of these lip colors or put some pictures that I already taken on Instagram through this video so you guys can check out how they actually um, look on the lips and with what types of eye looks you can potentially wear with them. I really enjoyed you guys again and I can't wait to see you guys in the next Vlogtober video. If you haven't checked out the previous videos, be sure to check the description box so you can see what videos I have already loaded and you can get an up to date on the videos that I really, really want you guys to check out for this Vlogtober series series. And I thank you so much for taking the opportunity to watch this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye!